next day, and I'm heading out of Penang with my head full of authentic Malaysian dishes from last night. It's a great shame that we don't know the dishes um, better back home in England. Think of any other international cuisine, and you could name you know, specialities, but with Malaysian cooking, it's, it's almost like a hidden agenda. Food's exciting. I mean, there's no two ways about that, but it's quite complex. I'm keen to get on now and, 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 and search even further. I'm flying 300 kilometers south to Kuala Lumpur, or KL to the locals. It's the capital city, and it's where I'll find some of the most adventurous Malaysian cooking in the country. But I'm not relying on the food critics to show me where to go. I've arranged to meet Malaysia's answer to the hairy bikers. Morning. Proper motorbikes. <laughs> uh, I've got a Harley at home. Do you? Yes. What sort do you have? A night rod. A night rod? Yeah, I love it. Weekends, absolutely perfect. How are you? Good, I'm DC. DC, good to see you. Yeah, we, we know. Milan, how are you? So did you build this one? I built it for a competition a couple of years ago. Is this yours? Oh, yes, it is. Fantastic. So good to see a glamorous chick on a bike. <laughs> as much as we love bikes, we look for food all the time. So we love food and bikes. Right. So it's something we call right to eat and eat right. <laughs> Foodie hell's angels. Oh, <laughs> something something like, that. like that. Something like that. Something Amazing. Like that. Yes. After you. <laughs> Thank you. The bikers are taking me on the trail of their favorite foodie pit stops. And inside the market, there is a legendary dish that Mila wants me to try. Torpedo soup. Yeah. So what is it? Oh, this how? it is actually soup, especially for men. And this is how it looks like. It's the part of the cow. What the fuck is that? The bull's uh, manlyhood stuff. A bull's penis? Yeah. Yes. This is what soup torpedo is all a about, yes. Bull penis soup. Do you uh, want to try? This is a bit of a chef's dream come true. Yeah, you I'm love gonna it. Because I'm going to start this up. No, I don't love it. I'm going to think of every goddamn fucking food <laughs> critic in the country and sort of do to them what they've been doing to me for the last 10 years. <laughs> Yeah, screw them. So take this off here, yeah? Be and gentle. Be gentle, yeah? <laughs> yeah, what? Well, yeah. A.A. Gill. Hang Michael on, Winner. Hang on a second. Go on. Usually they chopped it in smaller, smaller. portion. Okay, yeah, right. that's a bit okay. too long. Giles Corrin. So small, right? Yeah. Yeah? Are you having fun? Matthew Norman, yeah, it's been a long time, trust me. Matthew Norman. <laughs> Obviously, men wouldn't eat this thinking that it's going to make their widget grow bigger. Apparently, um... It's not just the size, it just makes you stronger, last longer. That's the reason why they come here. Penis in the bowl. Yep. A few little extra bits for you, Mila. Okay. <laughs> Mila's favourite soup cool. is flavoured with spices, like cloves and cinnamon. But there's no getting away from the main ingredient. Here goes. Here we go, cheers. cheers. Don't choke on the skin. <laughs> yeah, right to eat, let's go. There you go. <laughs> It's very spicy. Mm. Mila, come on. Yeah. Oh, the soup's nice, but it's the crunchy bit in the middle. Like gristle, and then I'm crossing my legs because I'm like cringing <laughs> between my ball bag and my, my ball penis, because I'm like, oh. yeah, muscly, gristly, and very chewy. Almost like sort of an oxtail, but with a soft bone inside. Not good. And the size of them, Jesus Christ, huh? Huge.